In this video, we're going to look at simplifying algebraic fractions. If you're asked to write something like 2 over 3x minus 5 plus 5 over 2x plus 1 is a single fraction, the simplest thing to do back to kind of primary school simplifying fractions is to multiply the two denominators. And then we cross multiply 2 by what it's not over 2x plus 1. And if I just jump to the side for a sec, if we have 2 by 2x plus 1 just on its own over 2x plus 1 by 3x minus 5 you can see that the reason we're not changing anything is that these would cancel just leaving 2 over 3x minus 5 which is what we have at the beginning so you haven't changed the 2 over 3x minus 5 so far so the same with the 5 if we multiply 5 by 3x minus 5 the same thing happens we have 5 times 3x minus 5 over 3x minus 5 times 2x plus 1 and you can see that that's just 5 over 2x plus 1 so make sure that when you're simplifying these you have a kind of bit of knowledge that you can separate these two fractions into individual ones and that you don't want to change their value so we just multiply out the brackets now back to basic algebra 2 by 2x 4x plus 2 plus 5 by 3x which is 15x minus 25 all over now if you're not asked to simplify the but you might be asked to write the answer in a particular format but if we're not we just leave the denominators the way they are and the top line becomes 4x plus 15x which is 19x and minus 25 plus 2 is minus 23 and if that's simplified you would simplify it down further but they're both prime so that it doesn't simplify any further over 3x minus 5 by 2x plus 1 so straightforward enough they can get a little bit tricky when there's three fractions or when they're more complex when it's a fraction on top of a fraction so let's have a look at a three fraction question so we're asked to simplify this fraction there's normally a connection between the two linear terms and the quadratic so just double check that for yourself x minus 1 by x plus x minus 3 is equal to x squared minus 3x minus x plus 3 which is x squared minus 4x plus 3 so you can see there is a connection between them so if we take the 2 on its own it's already over x minus 1 so we want to keep this 2 over x minus 1 but to get this part of the denominator in we'd have to put an x minus 3 on top and the bottom they cancel or they divide to give 1 so we're not changing the 2 over x minus 1 it's staying exactly the same then we have minus 3x minus 1 over that denominator of x squared minus 4x plus 3. And we have plus 4 over x minus 3. We don't want to change its value. You can see we want an x minus 1 on the bottom. So x minus 1 over x minus 1. Now we have the same denominators for all of them. So when we have the same denominators, so say 3 over 2 plus 5 over 2, we just add the numerators. So that will be 8 over 2. We don't do anything with the denominator so in this case we're going to do remove the brackets so 2 by x minus 3 is 2x minus 6 and we have minus now be careful here that minus is actually in front of that bracket so it's like having a minus 1 in front of it so we have minus 1 by 3x and minus 1 by 1 is plus 1 and then we have plus this bracket here 4x minus 4 all over and in simplified form it's the quadratic x squared minus 4x plus 3 or you could use the two denominators now normally in a question like this the numerator if we factorize it will cancel with part of the denominator so let, let's see how that will happen now so we have 2x plus 4x 2x and 4x is 6x minus 3x is 3x we have a minus 4 and a minus 6 is minus 10 plus 1 is minus 9 and you can see that that's going to become 3 times x minus 3 which is one of the parts of the denominator so if you see that happening in the question instead of writing the quadratic write the two parts of the quadratic and then this will become 3 times x minus 3 over x minus 3 by x minus 1 these cancel or divide to give 1 so your answer is 3 over x minus 1. If you're given a 
fraction like this where the denominators look similar we can do it the same way as we've done all the other ones then i'll show you a quicker way to do it so x minus 3 and 3 minus x we're going to have 4 by 3 minus x if you want to write out each step plus 5 by x minus 3 so we're going to get 12 minus 4x plus 5x minus 15 over x minus 3 by 3 minus x and we'll have 5x minus 4x which is x and 12 minus 15 which is minus 3 and you can see that's one of the numerators x minus 3 by 3 minus x so the answer if you divide both of these in it doesn't leave nothing on top it needs a 1 so the answer is 1 over 3 minus x which could also be written in a different form which i'm going to introduce now if the denominators look similar what you can do is if i take the 5 over 3 minus x and i multiply top and bottom by minus 1 i'm multiplying the whole thing by 1 and it's not changing its value so that's going to give me a minus 5 over minus 3 plus x which is minus 5 over x minus 3 and i have plus 4 over x minus 3 which is going to give me i can just add the the not the the numerators i think i said numer numerator a minute ago did i for denominator but the numerator is the top denominator is the bottom so we're going to end up with minus one over x minus three now is this the same as this guy and it is based on what we have done up here so i could also multiply this by minus one over minus one and i'd get minus one by minus one is one and then i would have minus x plus three or three minus x on the bottom so both you can see both answers are the same but it's a little shortcut in algebra that you may see in some questions where the numerator the denominator sorry looks similar so you can change one of them around by multiplying top and bottom by minus one so now i'm going to give you a selection of questions to do test yourself pause the video and see how you get on with algebraic fractions so i'll give you six questions pause the video and try these three first and then jump down the page and you'll see we'll see four five and six so the first one similar denominators multiply either of them by minus one over minus one so we'll end up with three over x minus two plus if you only need the plus there minus two over x minus two so we're just going to get three minus two which is one over x minus two so a nice quick handy way of simplifying that one this one multiply the two denominators cross multiply that's a 4x minus 1 plus 4 by 2x minus 5. So you're going to get 8x minus 2 plus 8x minus 20 over 8. So we're going to get 16x minus 22 over 8. And does anything divide into all of these? It certainly does. 2 does. Now we could have just, and we'll see now, we could have just made multiplied top and bottom here by 2 to give the denominator of 4, but keep the same format each time and it's easier to simplify it at the end if you don't see that so we're going to get 8x minus 11 over 4. so three parts to this one is there a connection between x plus 2 and x minus 3 and x squared minus x minus 6 let's see x plus 2 by x minus 3 is x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6 which is x squared minus x minus 6. So let's not change 1 over x plus 2. Let's keep it as 1 over x plus 2. So to get the denominator in, the x minus 3, top and bottom by x minus 3, we have minus 3 over x minus 3. So top and bottom by x plus 2. And then we have the 4 over let's write x minus 3 by x plus 2 so simplifying this down we're going to get x minus 3 and we just write the denominator once this time x plus 2 by x minus 3 we have minus 3 by x and minus 3 by plus 2 and we have a plus 4 so that's equal to my x's i've got 1 minus 3 minus 2x and I have a, a minus 6, a minus 3, minus 9, plus 4, minus 5. 5 is prime, so this doesn't simplify any further. Over x plus 2 by x minus 3. So pause the video and attempt these three questions. And here's the solution. 
So something like this, what you should identify is that both terms have a common term of b. So start by taking that b out and see what you're left with. You're only left with a plus b, which is ab plus b squared. And you should identify from the bottom that this is the difference of two squares, your, some of your junior cert algebra, a minus b by a plus b. If you don't know that, go back and look at the junior cert videos on algebra and factorizing. So these cancel. So we're left with a b over a minus b. Question five, similarly again, how are we going to make one of them the same as the other one? Well, if I look at the top one, if I take a minus one outside of both of those, what would I have to multiply minus one by to get minus q? It'd be q, and to get plus p would be minus p. So you can see that I end up with a minus one on top. That's going to give me minus q plus p, or p minus q. And on the bottom, I also have q minus p. So just simple enough tricks within algebra that you have to know to be able to progress to a higher standard so our answer is equal to minus one this one here again i'm putting these in because it's a really important mathematical thing to know to multiply top and bottom by minus one here we're going to end up with a minus one on top and an x squared minus one on the bottom so we have five over x squared minus one so i'm making the denominators the same and you can put the plus in if you want but it's just going to give me 5 minus 1, which is 4 over x squared minus 1. So getting these denominators the same is the key for a lot of these algebraic fractions. So hopefully you've done well in this lesson. Progress now to Algebra 4.